Hello there my dear friends, this is Grace and I'm here to share with you my fifth layout with my March kit. I have been very, produ very productive with this kit and um, I think it's because my comfort zone are bold and bright colors and so I really liked the color combinations with this kit. Um, I'm starting this layout by misting um, the pink color shine um, mist onto some canvas trims from Pink Paisley. Um, I'm going to be using that as my border and um, I love the canvas because you can color it and um, customize it to um, the needs of your page and I've had that for a while so I don't know specifically what year they came out but they're from Pink Paisley. I'm using this Echo Park paper that has the um, triangles on one side and then white flowers on the back and I decided to use the the flowers um, I was actually kind of playing around with it to see if I can watercolor it or add some color but um, I ended up not liking what um, what I did so I just used it as is and then I'm using this paper from I believe that's my mind's eye it has some Polaroid in there and I've used um, one side of it already for another layout and so I'm just going to use the other half here and I've cut out my um, papers some of them are from the 6x6 paper and some are from the 12x12 papers that I chose for my homemade kit and I've cut them to size I believe they were about two and a quarter um, square and I'm just trimming off some of the ones that um, will go on specific spots there and then here are just a bunch of accents that I uh, put together. Um, those circle accents are cut out from a piece of paper from GCD Studios. And then I have buttons there and a label from L Studio. That Polaroid yellow frame um, is also from L Studio. And I'm going to be backing that up with um, the solid color side of my 6x6 paper pad because I'm going to be handwriting my journaling on there. And I just adhere that with some Tombow liquid glue. Um, the layout or the pictures that I'm using for this layout is from um, an egg hunt that my kids did in 2013. Um, we went to a park with some of our friends and we did an egg hunt there. And um, I took these pictures with my iPod Touch. I have a, um, oh, what is the number of that? I think it's an iPod Touch 4. I might be wrong. But, um, it doesn't have a very good quality camera and so I just like to print my pictures um, by two by, um, on a 2 by 3 canvas um, if I'm printing pictures from um, that or the pictures that I have taken from that um, device. And here I decided to mat my pictures um, or two of the pictures with the same light pink paper that I used uh, for the backing of my journaling block. Now two of the pictures will be on the top and then two will be um, I was able to fit it in those Polaroid frames of that um, that pattern paper. And I really like how this layout came about because I'm sorry that was my son um, he was giving me one of the papers for school. See, the thing is, um, my door for my scrapbook room is always open because I want my kids to always know that they can reach me. But um, so they never know when I am recording these. And um, I remember my son, I, after I told him that uh, my camera is um, recording all these things, he says, you need to make a a sign on your door saying do not disturb and so maybe I will but I really I like that my door is open so that they can come in um, whenever they need me but anyways going back to the layout I'm just now adhering all of my elements onto that um, pattern paper that has the Polaroid frames so I had fitted two pictures on there cut them to size so I could put them in the um, uh, onto the frames and then I cut out some pattern papers to match and I also inked up the um, pattern papers before I adhered them. And then now I'm just trying to see how everything's gonna go. Um, I think I was going to adhere the trim but then it needed a little bit more um, drying time so I set it aside and now I'm just adhering 
um, a strip of um, yellow washi tape. I think that's from Recollections. And um, I'm going, to, I, I just added that on the top just for added interest. Now, um, the Polaroids, the bottom of them are plain. And so I decided that I was going to go grab those pink paisley stamp set and um, added um, the words hello on three different um, Polaroid frame designs or portions. I don't know how to describe that and then the others um, I'm going to adhere um, or I'm going to stamp some arrows and I was going to use my black ink pad at first but then I decided the black was going to be too bold and I just wanted whatever I'm stamping to just kind of um, blend together with all of the the colors that I already have on the page so I decided to use the pink and this pink ink pad is one that I got from uh, Joann's. So um, the way I had put the arrows was I was making sure that they kind of, um, the, the points of the arrows was pointing towards my pictures or at least towards um, the center of my layout. And then I have this block where I'm going to put my title, and that's just a cutout from a GCD Studio paper pack, and our paper pad. And um, I'm going to be using um, the two sticker um, letter stickers that I had pulled out for this kit. Um, one, they're both American crafts. One is the remarks style, and then the other one is the thickers. Um, the only thing that I have against this Remarks um, letter stickers is that they don't really adhere well and I've actually used them on a previous layout um, and so what I did was um, after I adhere it I just run it through the sewing machine just to make sure that they're stuck there and they won't um, go anywhere. I'm inking up the edges of my journaling block here and I used um, little piece there it is um, showing you how I sewn that letter stickers and I'm sorry that my camera is a little shaky um, like I said before my I, tripod is directly next to me to my right and so sometimes when I'm not careful I bump it and that's when it shakes so my title will be the hunt um, I'm not very good at titles if you've watched my previous uh, process videos, um, I don't have any really smart uh, titles. Um, that is not my forte, so I wish I was really smart at thinking about titles, but I just kind of go with what the obvious is. Um, if you have any tips on how to create really cool titles, um, let me know on the comment section and um, I'll be I'd be happy with with the tip. Okay. So um, next is I'm just layering up, dressing up all those blocks of pattern papers that I have on my um, page there. I'm layering up some um, hand cut circles from pattern paper. Some of them I am going to be layering up with that L Studio tag with um, that circle um, cut out. And then one will be, I will add um, a button pink button with twine threaded through it. And then I decided to do three of the buttons for my visual triangle and I'm going to be adding this um, flower cutout that I had cut from my silhouette and I'm going to be coloring that up a little bit with some of that that pink ink. I'm just coloring up the edges just to give it a little bit more color and then I'm going to be adhering a button in the center of that so that it will create my visual triangle. And this layout came about really fast for me. Um, there were a few things that I had wanted to... This is my fifth layout. So there was a few things that I wanted to use up in that kit. And so... Um, this layout was the kind of what came about because of that. Um, here I am trying to add some wi um, white pen lines 
around my page and um, I have this love-hate relationship with white pens sometimes I would get a pen that is flowing really good and then others it's not um, this one is I believe a Sigma Uniball and it turned out really good so I'm liking that um, and then now I'm going to be adhering my um, scallop trim on the bottom and um, I have to say though that because with my layouts when it's done I display it on my um, on my scrapbook room for um, about a, a week and then I put it aside to put in the books and um, I noticed that with this layout the trim kept on coming off um, because it was adhered with the ATG gun and so if um, I were to do it again I probably just adhered with some strong strips of adhesive or um, a glue gun or something I'm not going to be using my ATG gun um, again. Here I'm going to be dressing up the arrows that I had put and I'm just um, picking some word stickers from that Tim Holtz um, sticker sheet and uh, that corresponds to spring and the fun that my kids had with this egg hunt. And I believe, um, is that it? Oh no, I'm going to be adding a couple more flowers um, just because that um, block of paper on the bottom left was kind of missing because every all the blocks has layers in them or most of them has layers so I felt like it needed something and because I added one on the bottom it felt like it needed the balance so um, I did the same flower on the top as well here I'm adding some ink um, I gotta say I love the look of ink splatters on some layouts but I, I didn't like it here. I just felt like the black was so starky compared to, was so stark compared to um, all of the kind of pastel colors of the layout, but I've already done it, so it, it is what it is. But, um, so I guess you'll learn from my mistakes. Um, anyways, here are some close-ups of my layout. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you will try to use up some spring colored um, products in your next layout. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.